Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today I've teamed up with Chris Beauty to bring you this awesome, gorgeous, amazing, tight, curly wig. This one comes in 16 inches. She has a beautiful crystal lace. Absolutely gorgeous and a super, super natural look. So for today's video, it's going to be very beginner friendly. We're going to be doing an install and this is a frontal. So this is what it looks like ear to ear. That crystal lace is absolutely gorgeous. And we are going with baby hair, which you guys already know is an option that you can skip on if it's not your taste. I absolutely love the curl pattern on this one and the cut. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. So today we are working with Chris Beauty. You guys know I just got a little bit of oil on the box. I'm talking about it don't transfer and look at me. But working with Chris Beauty, they did give us some goodies in the box. And I'll show you that um, in a few. But this one is... 16 inches and 150% density. And this is the beauty here. I'm gonna be doing a talk through as best I can. This is the beautiful texture here. I believe this is a kinky curly lace wig. It is their new, uh, their new clear lace. The hairline is pre-plugged. The lace is beautiful. The texture is absolutely gorgeous. You guys know shrinkage is real. And then this is a look at the inside construction of the cap. So I just went ahead and cut that lace off the back and I went ahead and adjusted those straps in the back. So let's put it on. Wow. So this is what she looks like on and you guys can see the lace is for sure lacing. The length, as I said, is very, 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 um, natural because it is a curlier texture of course it sh looks shorter than 16 but it definitely comes like to my boob i'm not quite sure if i wanted to do this one as a side part or a center part a center part is kind of what i want to do but sometimes it just depend depends on the cut what will look, look best i think i should step it out as a center part and then do a flip over with the stamp part so let's go ahead and work on bonding it down first i think that'll help me decide what i want to do so lately i have been getting into bonding the wig down literally using the adhesive and spraying it down and then putting the melt belt on top but i don't like to do that when i have my hair or my makeup already done just because it gets my makeup super messy so we are going to cut the lace off first i am using that even product i'm not quite sure if i'm going to use the yellow or the black i feel like i see a huge difference between the yellow one and the red one i did finish a whole bottle of the red one like a month or so ago and i haven't repurchased another one. i don't know why i've been saying i'm gonna purchase all the different colors and then every time i get one i just purchased it like when i'm already purchasing other stuff and i just add one to the card but i think i'm gonna use the black one again you don't need to customize it is already customized for you i am gonna go ahead and speed through the install process and we're gonna just blow dry on a cool setting from the start by the way you said the way you wrote upon me look how it grips to my hair or to my hairline rather and i haven't even bonded it down yet yeah yeah man i felt your energy wasn't used to being loved and treated differently yeah but something went wrong the signals got crossed and now we're When no one gets hurt Baby, keep it right there Don't you stress the flow You're trying to pick the pace up We should take it slow Baby, keep your focus Don't you make me change my mind If you love me, baby Don't you switch up the Okay, ladies, so you guys can see We bonded it down We blow dried it on a cool setting now we are doing baby hair. I'm going to just do like the two swoops on the arch on the arches of the eyebrows. I'm not quite sure if I want baby hair, but I just feel like might as well since I'm already here and I am doing it. I just feel like with like this type of texture here, this just looks better to me. Um, you don't have to do this. You can most certainly skip this step, but I'm just going to show you what this side looks like. And then I'm going to turn the camera off to do the opposite side. And yeah, I like to use this because 
even though like I'm not wearing it, I curls it, but I'm not going to wear it curly. I just feel like it does a better job being tame and reacting to me styling it. Also, you guys see me add a little bit of it, that same product that I use as an adhesive to it. And it just helps it to lay and stick a little bit more. And that's why you see me blow dry it. Okay, hairline is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and set out a center part. I almost forgot. And then we're gonna just go ahead and do the dynamic duo. Oh, and then the dynamic duo is my wax stick paired with the electric cock comb, both from my site. So I have it linked in the description box. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you. Will you take me on a trip? Always up and down and back and forth in merry go round. I just wanna get it right. But when you go left, I'm okay. Dynamic duo complete, and the wig is looking so snatched. And we're gonna let this bond down while we um wet the curls, and we're gonna add a cream product. I think we're gonna go with. Good old Cantu. I can't feel it left behind. Cause something went wrong. The signals got crossed. And now we're going different directions. Let's go where we were. When no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there. Don't you stress the flow. You're trying to pick the face up. We should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus. Don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe Okay, guys, quick update. This is a before and after. This is a hair straight out of the box, and then this is what happens when you wet it down and then add some products. I did add the Cantu leave-in with argan oil and look how beautiful it is now the key or the trick to it was the dimming brush this definitely helps to clump the curls look at the huge difference i'm gonna do this side off camera and then we'll take the melt belt off and tint the lace together and then we should be done. baby don't you baby don't you baby don't you switch up the vibe if you love me just like you say you do Don't kill the bad If you kill him, you're gonna kill us too Baby, keep so We finished both sides As we did this side, this side began to dry And it's starting to shrink up a little bit So let's see how much it shrinks Also, I do want to note that like this side I pulled it out with my fingers before I started And then this side I didn't I just did um, wet it And then I added my product And then I did the dimming brush And you pretty much get the same result Again, the only difference is that this side is beginning to dry So it's beginning to shrink a little bit more And then this is what the hairline looks like After we um, let it melt with our melt belt I can go in and touch it up a little bit more Let's go ahead and tint the lace. We're going to do concealer and the parting and then a little powder along the hairline. You really don't need much, but just so that it is a little bit more seamless, we're going to go ahead and turn it up a notch. Why don't you get it by thousand? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that code? Why is I love it one sided? It should really be give and take. Fill you up and leave me empty. Baby, was that to my mistake? Covering his feelings. Going through changes. I'm just so mad right now. I can't even think straight. So I'ma just tweet it and delete it. Knowing you were read dead before we get too far away. I need to clear my mind. I'd rather just tweet it and delete it. Okay, I think we're done with the look. This is what it looks like when you tint the lace. I feel like I can still buff a little powder sometimes when you take a big kabuki. Because those little brushes don't necessarily cover enough ground. And that kind of goes in there and makes it perfect. 
Also, I treated it like a little bit of a shake and go because this side was drying more than this side and it wasn't giving the cut. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it does have like a sideshow bob type of like cut. I don't know why I call it that, but it's like that perfect tapered cut. So kind of like when you just shake it, it makes the curls kind of like naturally pull out and then they fall exactly how they're supposed to where you can see that cut perfectly but the curl pattern is absolutely gorgeous i'm absolutely in love with the way it looks you do get a nice extended parting space and that is bomb as well i just love the way this looks it gives a very 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 natural look so they did give me two pieces of lace to share with you guys this is transparent lace which is our old og lace that we pretty much started with and then this is their new improved clear lace and look how that melts into my complexion without doing anything i'm going to take a little piece here and a little piece here so you can see side by side the difference in how well one blends versus the other okay i don't know if you guys can see from the lighting let me turn it down this here is the crystal lace, which is what we're wearing today. And then this is the transparent lace. It does have a little bit of a white cast to it. And then this one melts and blends with the complexion flawlessly. It's definitely a huge upgrade. And that's why the hairline looks amazing on this one. Also, they did include some goodies. So let's check it out. The box is pretty heavy. So this is what the box looks like inside. I love this Hermes orange. And inside you did get a nice shower comb, which my daughter is going to love. Also a new edge brush, which she's going to love as well. And then they did include the bra strap style adjustable straps. So you can definitely add those in to make the wig fit a little bit more snug. We also got a pack of wig caps and then also some flexi rods. So those are some really, really nice free goodies. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys see how beautiful it dried. I would say it's about 85 to 90% dry. It's just a little bit more damp in the center. But as you guys can see, the hair has nice body and movement. It definitely has an amazing curl pattern. And it's a little bit versatile because you can wear it like in a nice dry big style. And then you can wet it down and do something beautiful like this. Also, the difference between using the dimming brush and not using the dimmer brush gives you a different curl pattern you'll get more of the tight curly curl pattern without the dimmer brush and you get a little bit more of a spiral curl with the dimmer brush so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to check out chris beauty a direct link to this wig is in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches